It's a mission to see if I get on at any stage. As a Tiger, you supporting pies or lions? I can't decide. I know, I was saying that before, Eagle, that I've got a bit of beef with with Brisbane, as you know, I'm sure you can relate to as well. But, um... Uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to see a good game, but I just don't know... I can't bring myself to support Collingwood. I don't like this camera angle. Oh, fuck off. Jesus. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really torn on who I want to win. Oh, fuck. That's why, like, I suppose all our hopes in that were banking on GWS, weren't they? Getting in. Because that would have made it... <laughs> that would have made it really easy to pick. The guy could easily play full forward. Yeah, agree, Hef. Agree. Count the lines. Yeah, Dugowie could play full forward. Um, it's going to be actually really fascinating to see how he goes because, I mean, everyone's always comparing him to Dusty. So now's his chance to step up on the biggest stage of all and show that he's worthy of being mentioned in the same sentence as Dusty. As an LA supporter of obviously Charlie Cameron of a good game, yeah. We all want the draw an extra time. <laughs> We're, well, we, we came close to a few draws, didn't we, in finals, which would have been extra time. Oh. Oh, my God. We're only going final with 4-4 line. Jamie Jaden, yeah. I was supporting the Blues last week. <laughs> the Blues, how good did they look in the first quarter? They were on fire, and then they just absolutely shit the bed. Apologies to any Blues supporters, but you really did. Oh. Oh, you... The, the issue for Carlton ended up being that their big-name players didn't actually lift in the second half or the second quarter onwards when the game was heating up and on the line. Like, Kerno didn't really do anything. Um, Cripps probably fell away when the heat was on. In the first quarter, they were all unbelievable, but then, yeah, kind of kind of fell away after that, didn't it? Go pink! Oh! Shot on goal, that's okay. What does everyone think of that camera angle, just quietly? Prelim to go win or Dusty? He, he was, he was good in the prelim, but can he do it in the granny? Giants to make a prelim is my call, the century. Dude, that's a great call to get that. They were huge. I'm really glad that, um... Oh! <laughs> what a goal! <laughs> His first goal for Wrexham just absolutely launches one from outside the box. No way. That is absolute quality. What a cracking goal. Pink start to his Wrexham career. Holy shit. So back underway following the equalizer. <laughs> I can't get over that. Tell me that wasn't a good goal, chat. That was pretty good. Namely. I think Joe Danaher will go, well I've I've got huge doubts on not huge doubts, but concerns on um Danaher and Hipwood because both can like just really drop the ball and, and put up a real shit effort. So for me, a, a lot of Brisbane's chances are really dependent on how both of them play. If they both fire, and I suppose they have in the past against Collingwood, or someone has because they've beaten Collingwood um, the last few times. So they're probably they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves, but the Pies have got a pretty good defence, it must be said. I still can't believe that goal I scored. Oh. I've still got to do my YouTube video with a preview of the game. I'll try and do that tomorrow. I still reckon though, like I know the last time Brisbane beat Collingwood was pretty recent, but... Ah... I still have a funny feeling that Collingwood were doing like a bit of a heavy training load in the back end of the season. I know that sounds really 
cliche and stupid, but I say it because I know that we did it when McRae and Leper were at the Tigers. So there's probably, I suppose, reason to maybe think that they took a leaf out of their book. But yeah, to, for GWS, for Kingsley in particular, to get Coach of the Year, uh, very good effort. And not surprising either. Michael. Well, at least I've tied up the score. That's something. I don't know if I'm meant to be on the left or the right, though. I'm just kind of playing like I do on... Oh, he's offside. Playing like I do on pro clubs. As a Canberra boy who grew up playing against Tom Green, I'm so glad. Ah, oh, Tom Green's been huge. Yeah, that was pretty good, Echo. <laughs> um, Yeah, Tom Green in the finals has been absolutely massive. I think I think he really established himself as a player. I know he was already pretty good, but <clears throat> to do what he was doing week in, week out on the big stage like that was pretty good to see. And like all the Giants players, really, they all did such a good job. What does everyone think about... I'm, I'm going to say it was Channel 7, but I don't know for certain. Interviewing Toby Green, like, minutes after they've just lost a prelim by a point. I reckon that's a bit of a dick move. Like, we all know that he's going to be... Fucking get off me! That he's, he's going to be shattered. I don't think we need to be hearing from, from him that early after a game. Like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Can we get a winner late? Oh, we got the winner late! <laughs> Wrexham have just clawed back being 2-0 down. Oh, wait, 1-0 down to be 2-1 up. What a goal. 90th minute on the whistle for their first win. That is clutch. What a win. Uh, Hudson said top three in the finals has been Dugowie, Josh Kelly, and Sam Walsh. Oh, okay. Walsh has been good. I would have put Green up there as well. There's Pink. Look at him. Fair goal. Yeah, Tom Green.